Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing is now we have already set up our environment. So let's um, install the Earth Engine Python API. So um, if you're not sure about what Earth Engine is, so this is Google Earth Engine. You have <clears throat> the JavaScript, um, you know, API, and there's a, a Python API. So the JavaScript API, you know, has uh, an already built-in, um, you know, console where you can run, um, you know, Earth Engine um, JavaScript, um, you know, codes, and then visualize your um, your your analysis on Earth Engine. So it's a built-in. So if you're running um, uh, an Earth Engine Python API, you need um, the um, you, you need the Python Jupyter Notebook to run it um, in a Conda environment. So let's um, open Anaconda, Anaconda prompt. Uh, every time you open a new session, that's what you do. So this is a random directory, so I'll need to write cd to change the directory to my current um, directory that I want, which is courses. This is where I saved all my, you know, notebooks. So if you have saved it, uh, you know, somewhere, you need to change it to that directory, okay? <clears throat> so now my working directory is here. Uh, the next thing is I already have already um, created uh, an environment. So I will need to uh, activate my environment. Just to make sure, let's write conda in list so conda in list will tell me the list of environments that are in my conda environment so for this course i'll need this ee python inf so i'll activate conda activate ee python inf will be activated okay so i'll activate my environment you can see the difference it's it was base now it's um, ee python inf so now I'm in my um, course environment, the, the Python, the Earth Engine Python API course environment. So the next thing is just to open a Jupyter Notebook. I'll type in Jupyter Notebook and I'll hit enter. This will open a Jupyter Notebook for me. Fantastic. So this is um, the folder where I saved all of my you know scripts. So I'll click the introduction. So um, in this lecture, what we're doing is we'll install the Earth Engine Python API. We do this only once in the course, so it's a one-time exercise. So to install the Earth Engine Python API, as well as some other useful um, uh, you know, package like, like G Google Earth Engine Hydro, which is used for you know, visualization. Um, so if this is commented on your version, you need to add, you know uncomment it, and then so pip install Earth Engine API will install the Earth Engine on on this Jupyter notebook in your environment, and also this uh, Hydro. Once um, this is installed, you will import the Earth Engine package and the Folium and the the Hydro, and then the next important thing you need to do is just authenticate your account with Google. Okay. So let's get started. So the first um, cell is pip install Earth Engine API. So I'll go ahead and then run that. Let's see what's happening. So it's just running. So requirement already satisfied. I, because I've already installed Earth Engine, this is the message that I've gotten. Uh, but in your case, since uh, you have, if it's your first time, this is not the message that you'll see. So you'll keep on installing all the Earth Engine Python API on your Jupyter Notebook environment. And because I've already installed, I can go to the next step, right? So this is import EE, that means you import Earth Engine and import Folium, it's another package uh, for data visualization here on the Jupyter Notebook for, for a Python. Um, and also GE, um, Google Earth Engine Hydro, is also another data visualization package so i'll click this run that will import all this package on my environment and it's uh, already installed so the most important thing is to authenticate so 
ee.authenticate uh, and also ee initialize will authenticate your Googler's engine account um, and you need to have a Gmail account and you need to have access to um, you know the Googler's engine account you need to be approved for that once you're approved this will be authenticated and initialized so let's uh, to, to, to do uh, that or just to authenticate your account you need to run this cell I'll run that and I'll have my account authenticated and I'll allow that and so you need to copy this um, this um, code please copy this code switch to your application and paste so I'll go back to my you know authentication window enter verification code I'll paste it here and hit enter that's all so successfully saved authorization token so now uh, you know my Earth engine Python API is uh, already installed and authenticated and it's good to go to run all my application that means I can get connected to Google Earth engine Python API using this Jupyter notebook and I can run any um, you know script on on this Jupyter notebook okay so the next thing is to uh, create some interactive mapping I'll add um, the folium map, you know package and run this uh, part of the script and so so this is our first uh, you know script that, that has import you know countries database um, using a, an earth engine feature this is a worded countries database and I'll filter it by a country um, Brazil in this case as an example and the next thing is just to import Landsat um, image here as um, 1999 to 2003 and also this is a you know kind of an epoch level um, image a five-year you know epoch level you know Landsat um, image uh, using Landsat 7 um, so I'll create two different uh, years 1999 and 2008 okay and the next thing is I'll write a function that creates a normalized difference vegetation index or NDVI okay so I'll create one function for the first year which is 1999 and I'll create another one was uh, 2008 so the first um, algorithm uses a simple like you know subtraction a simple like uh, NDVI formula by you know um, subtracting you know band uh, 3 from band 4 and also dividing um, that and also adding this to band 4 and band 3 that's technically NDVI right the other uh, approach to calculate NDVI is to uh, input that you know Landsat um, spectral data and just call normalize difference um, function this is an earth engine built-in function and then state the different bands in this case band 4 and band 3 for Landsat 7 and um, this will create you know normalized difference it's uh, it's it's a way of you know writing um, the same for the same uh, you know transformation but in a, in a, in a different way of um, calculating it all right and the other thing that we'll do is uh, calculate um, the difference between the 2008 and uh, 1999 um, NDVI values to see some difference and then I'll execute the uh, script and it's executed here and finally I'll display that that means map set con control visibility layer control true and map so it will technically display this this uh, NDVI values uh, in the next cell excellent so here is my you know NDVI data for Brazil I can you know toggle the the values here so this is like the difference NDVI values uh, with different you know colors you can change you know the satellite background uh, as well as you know the the Google Maps version 
this is the country Brazil and I can open the difference and the VI values over here so this is just an example of how you can install um, and authenticate the Earth Engine package and write a simple uh, you know, Python algorithm uh, using Earth Engine Python API and execute that and also visualize.